is the Night of Solomon. We're on the side of a Colorado mountain. To get away from everyone. Just to be with you. This is going to be a guided meditation. Channeled by the light gods. They're using my body as a vessel. I have agreed to it. So this guided meditation is called Throw It in the River. Throwing it in the river is just so powerful. If you don't know this concept already, a secret. We all have the power in our minds to throw our th thoughts into the river. There's a river of energy that flows through everything that has been created. You can hear the river below me. That's what we're going to use in this guided meditation. If you have to, get out into the driveway in your car to get away from everyone to meditate. It's that important. See if you can find a quiet place for your meditation. Perfect time would be probably before you're going to sleep. In a sitting position or laying, laying on your back, however is most comfortable. You want to be very comfortable. You need to breathe properly every day and meditate. So for those of you that don't know, deep breathing, which I didn't know for a long time, is breathing with your diaphragm, the bottom, like your intestine area. You need to push, then, push this in and out. Every day, it'll take you out of fight or flight mode 
take away anxiety instantly. This needs to be done every day. So we want to suck in with, like you're sucking in your stomach. You can just hold it there. If you hold it there a few seconds, it might be all you need just to take you out of panic mode, which most of us are in all the time. Seems like the world's going crazy. One reason I had to come out here. But I don't know where I would, what I'd be doing right now if I didn't have all the extra terrestrial beings teach me what they have taught me. I would probably be panicking right now. So, every day, if you can just take like five minutes in the morning or in the before you go to bed and just push your stomach out like you're making it look like you're pregnant, hold it there three or four seconds and then suck it back in hold it there three or four seconds and then you push it out hold it there three or four seconds and you suck it back in now just take some full deep breath of air. Blow it out your nose. I'll take another deep breath. This time, breathe it out your nose. Pushing out all the worry, all the stress, all the anxiety. Take another breath. Just be grateful for that feeling again. Today, I will be grateful. Take a few more deep breaths. Just let your body relax. It's been a long day. Even if it's 10 a.m. Now we're going to deeper meditate. As we just think about a nice, loving, warm, white, pure light. There's nothing negative about it whatsoever. coming in through the top of our head. Just let it saturate your brain.
Feel the calmness. Feel it relax. Feel it go over, down through your face, over your eyes. Your eyes, muscles, all the, all the eye muscles relax. It goes down through your cheeks. Down through your neck. Just feel the sensations. Let it flow through the your rest of your body. Down through your arms. Relax your hands as it goes through. If you can hear the river, you can just relax. Try to think about absolutely nothing at all. Any thought that pops up, just throw it into the river. Like a leaf, it flows down the river and it's gone. Now hear, hear everything that's around you. The wind, the river, the birds. Everything outside your body. Hear the plane. Now this simple thing that you can just Throw your thought into the river. It's a lot, lot more powerful than you think. It's the basic of one of the concepts of the martial arts that I teach. All you have to do is believe that you can do it. Then once you do it, all you have to know that you, is that you can, and that you have that power, and that you've been robbed of that power. Then any negative thought that comes into your mind whatever it is even a bad feeling. You have the power to throw it into the river. To throw it out of your body, out of your being. You can throw anything you want, any feeling, any trauma, any broken heart. 
All you got to do is throw it in the river. And it opens a portal for your soul to heal. transform you I'd like to thank Dr. Greer for teaching it to me because he opened a portal for my life he opened a portal for many many beings to heal me in many different ways learned about all the seals, all the implants, different curses, and hexes that have been placed upon us over the last 72,000 years. Most of the stuff we come into, we're born into, incarnated into this life with it. So we're born up against it. We have to heal every day. We have to meditate every day. We have to stop eating GMOs. That includes especially non-organic sugar. It's half chemicals. Any negative thought, whether it's that part of you that you've had a really stressful day, that part of you says, hey, you need a drink. You have the power to just wipe that out. You just don't know it yet. If you do, that's awesome. But most of us don't. That's way more than a portal that opens up a pathway for you to be taught wisdom and knowledge, be downloaded things from these entities. Or even just the Great Spirit or the universe. That, that concept you practice that you will gain so much power over your universe because you have gained so much power over your mind so for the basic the basic, the first meditation, I would like to tell you the Reiki principles because they are transforming. They are the basic, the basic principles of the mental martial arts.
Every day that you can. Every day is most important. Every decision that you make is so critical in your timeline. Every advantage that you can take for yourself, I would take it. Because it is so up against you. You don't even know. There's a war in the heavens over you. There's a war here. Every day you can love yourself, forgive yourself, take care of yourself, take care of the vessel that you're in temporarily. first five Reiki principles are today, I will not worry. Meditate on that. You won't worry about stuff anymore. Today, I will not be angry. Meditate on that. You will have more joy. I guarantee it. Today I will be grateful. Being grateful some, for some reason opens up a portal to the light. Today I will do my work honestly. Today, I will love all living beings. What the one Solomon Odin They've all taken me on many remote projections and guided meditations. That is the first guided meditation in a number of Meditation is that they want me to do for you. I'm just going to sit here and meditate and give thanks.